What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have Thinking Outside the Box episode number four for you guys. Here as you can see we have the big old fodder box full of my loose elites that are in shambles. That is the whole point of Thinking Outside the Box. We take this box and try to get these guys full again or make them, you know, complete, make them whole, make them completely articulated with all of their freaking body parts attached. Then of course we combine that with my fodder boxes which are over here which has all my different parts and things like that to combine it, you know what I'm saying, and uh, that's what we're going to do here today, and I think I have a pretty cool challenge for us, I think today I'm going to try and assemble a created faction, now it's going to be up to you guys to name the guys and the name of the faction, but I think I do have it, and if you think I have a slight lisp or if my mouth is like saying words in a weird way, it's because I have like an ulcer behind my tooth, and it's pissing me off because it hurts like hell. <sighs> But anyways, guys, that's not going to stop me from making this faction here today. So uh, let's go ahead and shut the hell up and get into this. Oh, I think I have what's going on, and we're going to go ahead and get into that. First of all, this guy's really standing out to me. I don't know why. I really like the big torso. I'm not a fan of this torso per se. However, I think with the blue trunks and everything, I think this is an Elite 47 Tatanka. I really think this could work. You know, he's got the big shoulders on there. I think this will be the big muscle of the group, if you will, and I think this will be really nice. Next up, guys, I really want to use this Champa slash Cesaro figure right here. You know, I really don't have a use for it anymore. This head sculpt is trash. Since we got that new Elite 69 Champa, I just am not a fan of this head sculpt. So I think I'm going to remove this head sculpt. We may keep it on there, but I think I'm going to remove it. And then all we have to do is find some boots slash knee pads for this guy. And for this other guy, the, the big muscle of the group, I mean, they're both pretty jacked, but this guy's obviously the biggest guy. Uh, we got to get arms, a head, knee pads, and boots, and uh, I think that will be pretty easy. And and then for our final guy, I think I'm going to go with this guy. You know, they all kind of look similar. They all kind of have like a uniform look. They're all in the tights. They're all in the trunks. They're both, they're all missing knee pads. They're all missing boots. And these two are missing heads and arms. So I think that's what I'm going to use for my starting little, uh, my bases, I guess is what we usually call it here on Thinking Outside the Box. So I'm going to use these guys as our bases. And then we are going to go ahead and dive into these fodder boxes and see if we can find all the different parts we need to complete these guys here on Thinking Outside the Box, episode number four. Now starting off with this guy, we need to find a head sculpt that is going to sit on here nice, and this guy's definitely going to need some jacked arms, I mean look at this dude, this dude is absolutely massive, he is also going to need some boots and some knee pads, and so what I'm thinking for his head sculpt is I think I actually have a Great American Bass Sting that I like shaved the ponytail off of in here somewhere, and I don't remember exactly where, oh here it is, I think this would really go well with it, I know that uh, they do give stings, nice alley cat, I know that they gave Sting this toy so anyways, and I think that this would go well. You know, he's got the America face paint on there. I'd like to remove it, but I'm not going to remove it here today. I just think that would look pretty cool on there. It goes hand in hand with it. It matches skin tones and all of that, so I think we're going to go with that head sculpt, and I actually think I have the perfect arms for this guy. Actually, sitting right here to the right, um, I think these Kurt Angle arms from Elite 66 would look great right here. So, they have the stars already on the little wrist tape, and so uh, what we could do, we could actually remove these hands because they're removable. We could easily remove these hands and put in normal skin tone hands or tape fingers or something like that to give him a different look So he just has like stars on his wrist tape that would actually probably be a little bit better in my opinion But look how well that matches up I think that's perfect right there with the face paint with the the wrist tape and everything I think these arms will fit perfectly with this sting guy slash massive guy So we're gonna do that for sure now. We got to find knee pads and boots for this guy Now over here for boots and knee pads, Alley Cat getting in the way, completely fine with me. Now she's bumping the camera. Very nice. There you go. Now for knee pads for this guy, I don't think I have these smaller knee pads. I think what would look really sick, if you guys can see these knee pads back here, I think that these knee pads would look excellent on this just because you have the red tied in or you have the stars tying in so it's kind of like a bunch of Kurt Angle parts on this but I think this will look pretty good. The blues don't match up perfectly but I think it would be okay. You know it kind of matches the wrist tape. It matches everything so I think that would probably look the best matching with it and you know the bigger knee pads look uh, better on the bigger individuals or bigger wrestlers so this may actually work out really really well and for boots I really don't want to go with black regular boots. I think those are really 
really boring and trash. And while I would love to use these, I actually have an idea for a custom in the future, and uh, as well as for these. I'd really like to use these red ones as well, but I am not going to be using those. I actually are saving those for a custom in the future that I'm going to work on, but uh, I think these will actually look pretty good. The, uh, what is it, the Tully Blanchard or the Arn Anderson, I think they're Tully Blanchard boots with the stars and the red and white. I oh, God. I think these will actually work pretty freaking well, man. So I think we're going to use these. And that is our first guy. I don't even know his name. I guess we can come up with a name for this guy at the end because that's going to be your guys' job. So uh, go ahead and start working on that. We'll see what he looks like at the end. That'll probably help you guys out. But our first guy is completed. Now for our next guy, I'm trying to figure out what head sculpt I want to use. I have a couple ideas in mind for the head sculpt on this. But uh, I think I want to use... Uh, I feel like I had like a flashback Jack Swagger in here somewhere. Oh, there it is right there. So I think I want to use this. I, I don't know. I don't know how well this head's going to sit on this body because this actually has a really long neck peg, and I'm not sure how well this is going to go on here. I think it'd look okay once it goes on. We'll just have to find out. But I also think this Stone Cold Steve Austin head sculpt may look good on here. And then also possibly this Seth Rollins head sculpt might also look decent because the skin tone, the older Seth Rollins are actually matching skin tones like that. So we'll just have to see. I don't know. I'm just kind of playing it by ear, seeing what throws together. You know, it may end up looking like trash, but I guess I can just take these head sculpts, set them off to the side. And maybe we can come up with the one that we actually want to use. But that is what we're going to do for the first one. As far as the arms are concerned, looking through the fodder box, I think we're going to return back to these Cody Rhodes arms that we could not fit on that one figure. I can't remember, was it action figure surgery or the last episode of Thinking Outside the Box? I can't remember which one it was, but these arms will match really well. These shoulders are pretty big, and this dude's pretty jacked as well to go with our other jacked guy. So I think these arms will look really, really nice on this body for this guy. So I'm going to go with these arms to match with that body. And now all we need are knee pads and boots. And I have an idea, I think. I, I'm not exactly sure, but we're going to have to look at this. Oh my god, the tripod's a piece of shit. Now for these, I think I want to use these Ric Flair boots right here, and these Ric Flair boots, I hate that they say RF on it, so there's two different ways we're going to do this. Either the initials of the faction are going to be RF, or the initials of uh, his character is going to be RF, and then on his knee pads, we're going to use these Daniel Bryan knee pads that say DB on them, because the colors and everything kind of flush with the red, black, and white. Either the name of the faction is going to be DB, or his initials are going to be DB, so we got to figure that out, which ones we want, which ones we don't want and I think that would be the best way to do that so we got to figure out which one of those and I guess again that's up to you guys but that is our second guy I think that is what I want to see um, we'll, we'll, again, we'll have to put all, everybody together to kind of see what they look like. But uh, we'll do that on the surgery portion of the video. But now we are working on our Chompa guy. And we don't need anything but boots slash knee pads. But the more I look at this, I kind of don't want him to have knee pads. I feel like he would look better. <laughs> Vomit. I feel like he would look better without knee pads. I really don't know what that is. I just feel like, I, I don't know, this this torso with these arms, he just kind of looks like he'd be badass without knee pads. Am I am I? In insane and for some reason I kind of want to give him all white boots or I want to give him William Regal style boots and I think uh, I don't know I feel like the white ones would probably look better yeah the white ones would probably look a lot better I'm going with the white ones just because it ties into the trunks but I don't know why the these just kind of look like they would look good I don't know like the maroon kind of gives it like an old school feel I don't know man I kind of like that it's got like the stripes on it the pink and blue doesn't match so it kind of makes it kind of old school looking I don't know let me know down in the comment section below I'm gonna go with the white ones but I don't know, the, the, the maroon ones kind of, they, I don't know, they're getting the nipples hard right there. We're going to go with the white ones though. We're going to play it safe. We're going to go with the white ones and all that good jazz. And for the head sculpt, I'm just going to keep the Chompa one on there because, you know, it kind of really doesn't look like Chompa that much. I think that it'll tie in well to the rest of our faction right here. So we're going to look at the rest of this, see how it goes, and just kind of play this by ear. But now we're moving on to our surgery portion. Shouldn't take that long to do surgery on these guys, to be honest with you. It should be relatively fast. We're going to have to see because we don't have to, like, you know, do anything crazy it's just some boots and arms and heads so i don't know let's just shut the hell up and go find out if this chompa head sculpt doesn't look good i kind of want to put on a matt hardy head with the ponytail head sculpt i think and not like the smiley one but the pissed off one you know what i'm saying which one is it it's the uh it's like the wwe shop exclusive i can't freaking find it right now where is it oh 
Oh yeah, this one right here. I don't know, kind of feel like that would be pretty badassery. I don't know, we'll just kind of play it by ear and see. But let's go ahead and move to the backstage area and get some surgery going. All right guys, it is time for the surgery portion of our video. Now the first thing we need to do is go ahead and put our knee pads on, which is great because you know, we don't have to worry about the lower legs being attached and you know, detached and all that. So all we have to do is I think I am going to switch these out for regular hands. I just feel like it would look a lot better. Maybe some tape fingers. I don't know. We'll see about that. I don't like the graps look for that guy. I kind of want to switch that out. So we're going to definitely switch that out, but we do need to put our um, we need to put our knee pads onto the figures here. So I need to find out which one's right and which one's left. So this is the right one. And these legs slash calves on this like uh, Abe Lincoln style body are, uh, that's what a lot of people tell me to do is to go ahead and put Abe Lincoln on this. But I don't know, man. I kind of look, I like the way Abe looks over there in the tank top. So sliding the Daniel Bryan knee pad on there. These calves, again, are very, very thick for these knee pads. That's why they, you know, are kind of difficult to get on there. I think these will look pretty solid. I hate that the trunks are kind of plain, but I kind of like that. You know, it kind of gives them like an old school feel, which is kind of what I'm feeling with these things three guys they kind of give me like a british style like older looking faction you know they're not anything modern anything like that they're gonna they're gonna cut the ring in half they're gonna they're freaking gonna do a lot of tag team moves a lot of power wrestling that's what i would envision but again it's up to you guys down in the comment section below to let me know what the names of each member are and what their faction name will be so that's going to be up to you and i guess uh if there's a good comment or whatever i will pin it you know if i really like one of the guy's ideas or one of you guys ideas you will get a pinned comment and a heart and a you know a reply or whatever because i really want to hear some really cool creative names so there we are with the knee pads on there now we have to go over to our bigger guy and it looks like this is the right one so we're going to slide this on to here and i think that the uh the bigger knee pads are usually much easier to go on but jesus christ just not looking like it is it brad i'm in the process of hanging shelves as well trying to get everything ready for that room tour and later on today i gotta do a bunch of ish while filming Hell's Gate. I mean, it's just busy, man. Got the right knee pad, now working on the left. About snap my finger off right there. It kind of made me cringe, like, just saying that. That just sounds horrendous. All right, you son of a bitch. How about that, huh? Huh? All right, we got the knee pads on all our guys. Now, actually, we may be able to heat everything up at once. You know, we got the trusty white hair dryer over here ready to freaking go. The white kiss hair dryer. The Trey white kiss hair dryer. The white kiss What the f*** am I saying? So, I'm going to attempt the Jack's swagger head sculpt first and if it sucks eggs then it sucks eggs but we don't have to heat up any of these bodies so we can get these bodies out of here um i'm not gonna heat up the matt hardy i'm gonna just kind of see how champa looks but we got to get our boots ready to go we're gonna put our boots here and then our arms gotta be in the way there gotta build this shit up there and there and then like so you just basically gotta stack it all up while not making it blow away piece of shit oh god i don't like the way this is going and Brad, you already know I'm going to heat it up and then the shit's going to blow away and then I'm going to have to curse and then <laughs> Alright, here we go for this fail. God in heaven. Ugh, I don't even want to do it, Brad. I don't even want to do it. All right, guys, we're going for the marathon here, so let's go ahead and try it. Uh, Jack Swagger head going on this body right here. Got that popped on. Going to the arms of him, sliding this up. Going to try and get this bamboozled. Uh, going to the other arm. These, these arms actually fit this body really, really well, so I'm actually very happy about that. Then we have his boots. Going to go ahead and slide those on right there. Boom and bam. We'll look at him at the end. Uh, coming over to Champa or Champa or Chopper Sloppa Fling Flom. Got that. Other white boot completed. And then to the final, to the finale, I should say, not the final. Or I guess both words would work, you dumb idiot moron. Come to the other arm, pop that on, go to the boots. Got that. Got that. Coming to the sting head. And. Wallabushka. All right, guys, we got all of our guys put together. Now, I guess we're going to go to the next segment where you guys will see what all of these guys look like all up next to each other as the faction that you guys will come up with a name for.
And here is our created faction all together, guys. And I gotta be honest with you, I think they look super badass. I think they look excellent. The only thing I would probably change is possibly Jack Swagger head sculpt and then Champa's head sculpt. But I gotta say, this Sting right here looks ultimately badass. I think he looks so sick. I freaking love the way this came out, especially with the haircut. I cut off the ponytail right there, so it kind of gives him his own look. And it really doesn't even look like Sting, you know? It really doesn't look like Surfer Sting. It's actually not a good head sculpt for Sting. So I think it totally works. And I actually, the more I look at it, I really like the uh, stars and stripes on the hand tape. I think it really worked out well. I love the knee pads and the boot choice there, tying in the face paint and everything. I think he is easily the best out of the three. Next, I'd probably say Chumpa slash Creator Wrestler, or whatever the hell you want to call it. I, I feel like switching out the head sculpt would probably be the best deal. I just don't know what head sculpt to really do. Um, this Matt Hardy head head may look okay. It'd probably look a little... You know what? F it. F it. We're putting it on. We're putting it on just to, just to, just to make me feel better. And there we go. We got his head swab right there. What do you think? What do you guys think? Do you like the Chompa head sculpt better or the ponytail head sculpt? I don't know. The ponytail head sculpt definitely gives him a more uh, created wrestler feel. But ultimately, this guy in the middle looks like a freaking baller. He looks like a beast. But there you go. What's your created faction name? What do you give each guy individually? Comment down below. I will obviously like and heart and comment and reply to the ones that I think are the best names. But I think they look super badass, man. I'm really happy with the way they turned out. The only thing that's unfortunate is that my shelves are not complete so I can't really hang them up just yet. I think I'm going to put the memes and thinking outside the box wrestlers that we create on the same uh, on the same shelf, but I'm still working on that, so I can't put them on the shelf, unfortunately. So uh, I guess we're just going to have to key the part where I put them in the box, which isn't going to be as fun or cool, but uh, it is what it is. pretty much going to do it for Thinking Outside the Box episode number 4 guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. We got really big videos coming in the next couple days so stay tuned. It's going to be very very exciting. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.